Finally, guys, some good news in housing. Realtors and lenders, you may have gotten your teeth kicked in all year, but we finally have some good news for you. Pick up your teeth off the floor, ice down that black eye, and let's dig in. Lights, camera, action. Chubby guy. <laughs> Chubby guys? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Welcome. <laughs> now, first team, let me open up with some sobering reality that what we're about to share doesn't mean that the fight's over or tomorrow we'll wake up and rates will be in the threes again. But I will say, what we're about to share is encouraging and the first real signs that we may be turning the corner and then we may have hit the top of the pain train and possibly trending down. Now, here's the good news. It's not just us. Several other media outlets and economists believe the same. Is this hopium? or a possible relief rooted in data and facts. Maybe it's both, but let me show you how and why I think we could be finally turning the corner. First, a few technicals I like in the mortgage-backed security market. We've recently broke above the 100-day moving average. If this trend can hold a bit longer, the ceiling of resistance becomes a floor of support and does just that supports future price improvements. We've now had four days above the 100-day moving average. Again, guys, that doesn't mean that rates will fall tomorrow, but it is the start of a good trend and good news if this holds over the next few weeks. As you can see here, the 100-day moving average ceiling has been a ceiling for some time, and that's capped past rate improvement attempts. If we can truly switch from this being a ceiling to a floor of support, that would support future positive moves for mortgage rates. Our good friend Barry made some very interesting points on this last week as well. Loved his entire statement here, but focusing in on the last paragraph. Once the Fed starts to cut rates, they will likely end QT as they are not going to have one foot on the gas and one foot on the brake at the same time. That means the Feds will start reinvesting the assets that mature and would fall off their balance sheet and they would be a buyer again. Big news, good news there. Absorbing a ton of supply coming from the market from the treasury. That would be a big benefit to the bond market and rates. We don't have the time to unpack what QE or what QT is today. We have on previous shows, but in short, QT, which is quantitative tightening, has been a strategy held by the Fed to tighten the markets and push up rates. The opposite of that is quantitative easing, QE, which also is a strategy by the Fed that is responsible for the lower rates we saw in previous years. So in short, a switch in the Fed stance from tightening to easing. He also talked about when the Fed will start to make rate cuts and built this graph that shows the likelihood of when that will happen. Could be as soon as March of next year and a much higher percentage in May and June. Take a look. Either way, rates started to improve last week as the market starts to price all of this in. On top of all of that, guys, one other technical that has been discussed at length is the gap between the 10-year and 30-year fixed mortgages. This was brought up again last week on a CNN article by Lisa Sturdivant, the chief economist for Bright MLS, stating the gap between the 10-year treasury and the 30-year fixed mortgage rate is historically around 180 basis points. While the gap has narrowed somewhat, the 30-year mortgage rate remains 280 basis points higher than the bond yield. By historical norms, mortgage rates should be under 6.5%. She ends with this, mortgage rates will not come down quickly, nor will they decline to the sub 5% level that we had since the Great Recession. Guys, we've talked about this previously as well. Not sure if you remember this graph that we shared, but it shows exactly what Lisa is talking about. And she and many others that have pointed this out are right, that this gap should be tightening back up which is yet another positive signal for mortgage rates to decline. Is she right about six and a half percent soon? I don't know, but at this point, I won't get greedy. I'll take just a reversal in the Fed's stance because that does point to lower rates ahead. Exactly when, we don't know. It could be sooner if history serves a purpose. And guys, hear me on this. I'm not sure that it does post-pandemic serve a purpose. But if it does, this graph shows historically how quickly the Fed funds rate increased and just how quickly they fell on the back side of things. Every single time previously, they fell quickly. This time might be different though. I wouldn't be surprised if rates lowered at a more measured pace versus the previous declines that you guys see here. Team, there's a lot of variables here that can impact everything we just talked about. An election coming up, possible wars, other black swan events that can pop up anytime. And this market has humbled me and many others, so I won't claim that I know any more than the next guy, but I will say that I am encouraged for all the reasons we just talked about today. Could it be hopium after a really long year? Sure. 
possibly, but I don't really think it is. I think this is more rooted in data and what seems to be a more different posture by the Fed, which is also rooted and supported in data. So for all those reasons, I am hopeful and I am encouraged and I hope that you guys are as well. If so, share it on all your social streams, not just one of them, all of them guys. Like it and make sure you comment below as well with your thoughts. As I said earlier, the good news is we're not alone. And there's a lot of other real estate sources that believe that we are right. And being that we are the RE source, the real estate source, we'll give you exactly all of those sources that agree. One is the housing wire link below where they talk just about how low rates could go. And the other one is a really interesting piece of content for the realtors and I know they'll love it. It's from Altos Research titled, Is the Housing Market Finally Turning the Corner? Share, share, share this week, guys. I'm encouraged, so should you. We'll see you guys next week.